Welcome problem solving fans to another problem of the day. And this one's all about three identical rectangles. Part of each shape has been shaded. And we've got to figure out what fraction of the middle shape is shaded. Well, we're told about the fraction that's being shaded on the two end rectangles. So on the left hand rectangle, that's 7 tenths. And on the right hand rectangle, that's 11 fifteenths. Now, any question where we've got fractions with different denominators normally involves us changing those fractions into equivalent fractions with the same denominator. In other words, a common denominator. So we need to find a common denominator for 10 and 15. Well, if you think about your 10 times table, it shouldn't take you too long to figure out that 10 would go into 30, but 15 would also go into 30. So 30 could be used as a common denominator. So let's see what we have to do to make the equivalent fractions. Well, to make 10 into 30, we would have to make that 3 times bigger. 10 times 3 is 30, so we've got to make the 7 3 times bigger. So 7 times 3 is 21. So 7 tenths in 30ths is 21 30ths. To make the 15 into 30, we'd have to times that by 2. We'd have to make that twice as big. 15 times 2 is 30. So we do exactly the same to the top, times 11 by 2, and 11 times 2 is 22. So now we've got our equivalent fractions. We've got 21 thirtieths, which is how much of the left-hand rectangle is shaded. And it's a good idea to write that actually on the rectangle. It might help us to visualise what's going on. And on the right-hand rectangle, we've got 22 thirtieths being shaded. Now we've got to use this information to figure out the amount of the shape that's being shaded in the middle rectangle. Now, this is not immediately obvious how to do this, but what we can do is look at what hasn't been shaded. So in the first rectangle on the left, if 21 thirtieths has been shaded, that must mean 9 thirtieths has not been shaded at the top because 9 thirtieths and 21 thirtieths makes 30 thirtieths, which would be the whole rectangle. And if that 9 thirtieths on the top of the left rectangle is the same size as the bit at the top of the middle rectangle, then we can also write 9 thirtieths on that one. Now, if we do the same for the rectangle on the end, 22 thirtieths needs another 8 thirtieths at the bottom to make it up to the whole rectangle. So 8 thirtieths at the bottom must be the size of the bottom of the middle rectangle as well. So now we can use this information to figure out what has been shaded in the middle rectangle. So 9 thirtieths and 8 thirtieths on the middle rectangle added together, 9 thirtieths plus 8 thirtieths is 17 thirtieths, which means the middle bit must be 13 thirtieths. And that's the final answer. So what fraction of the middle shape is shaded? Final answer, 13 thirtieths. This question is almost like a jigsaw puzzle, where each bit of the shape is like a missing piece of the jigsaw. And the more pieces that you fill in by writing on the diagram, the more obvious it is on what you've got to do to find the actual piece of the jigsaw that you want, which is the bit in the middle. And we couldn't have found this 13 thirtieths until we'd have got this 9 thirtieths at the top, which came from there, and until we got the 8 thirtieths at the bottom, which came from there. And we couldn't have got the 9 thirtieths till we worked out 21 thirtieths, and we couldn't have got the 8 thirtieths till we worked out 22 thirtieths. So every time we put another piece of the jigsaw puzzle in, it led on to filling in the next piece of the jigsaw puzzle. 